Hi everyone, welcome to another Transformers toy review. Today I thought we'd take a look at a third party accessory pack. So this is from uh, Matrix Workshop. I picked this up on eBay uh, a little while ago and they do lots of kind of upgrade kits for the kind of War for Cybertron, kind of Siege and Earthrise line. It's mainly kind of weapon upgrades and things like that. This one, as you'll see in a minute, is for Starscream. So it arrived in a, a little box. I think it was in a, I can't remember if it was in a, a jiffy bag as well or an outer box or whatever. But, you know, it arrived safe and sound. Um, and then it's obviously got the number which it equates to. Open it up. Obviously nothing in there at the moment. <laughs> it comes, they come in a little jiffy bag, a little plastic bag like this. Uh, accessories that you get are this crown. So it looks like they're, they're all 3D printed, I guess. Um, and it's painted gold. It's done very nicely. Obviously it's supposed to represent the crown from the G1 cartoon in the movie where he wears it for all of five seconds before he gets annihilated so pop that down you get two null rays which are done looks as if it's done in a, a white frosted plastic which is then painted grey um, it's kind of got a bit of a rough feel to it um, not the actual plastic but the kind of covering you see it's not quite done evenly I don't think and um, the same for the handles there and then you get these kind of shoulder pad pieces here which can peg in on either side and these are painted like a metallic purple and the sculpting on it's really good and uh, I think the finish seems pretty smooth as well now, I believe these sets are designed to go on both. So we're going to try them on both just to see what they look like. So I'm going to try it on the Siege one first, because I think this is what it was initially designed for, but I do think it also fits on the other one. So obviously the crown just uh, fits on his head. That fits on there quite nicely. You can kind of, you know, you can dangle it around in it doesn't fall off or anything you can kind of perch up a little bit if you want to see more of his his face there but you can still move his head around either side without any worries and the plastic feels pretty good quality obviously these bits here you just need to be careful they're not gonna if you dropped it or anything else like that they probably snap off these side pieces here peg into around the side here and they've even got like a little outside bit where to fit around here so I think they're more designed for this version it fits in around there so that fits in nicely and that's quite a snug connection and then pop this on the other arm like that and then you get these null rays with it you can use the ones that came with Starscream originally and have them pegged in there if you want to or you can use these null rays in like that you know whichever you prefer I think for this one I would think the null rays that they've got the shorter ones just look a little bit better with it uh, not necessarily the color just because of the length of the null rays um, of course, you don't have to have them in, but uh, I think that's a pretty good look for Starscream. I think the only thing it's missing would be a, you know, a cape. Um, if they were able to do like a fabric cape with it, I think that would have worked really nicely. But other than that, I think that looks really good. Uh, just give you a close up of the figure there. Yeah, looking pretty swish. I think. Uh, the null rays, the finish on them isn't great, but you, you know you could paint or um, you know spray those even uh, just to give it a bit more of a metallic finish if you wanted to. But it looks pretty good. Um, and then if you're going to take these off, 
and um, the other thing to mention is the connection is quite tight on these so just be careful uh, I wouldn't want you to to break them off especially one of them is a little bit tighter than the other honestly I think as they kind of they seem to be 3d printed bits I think that's one of the sort of individual results will vary type of thing and then if I bring in the other star screen the Earthrise version um, the helmet fits on really well in fact it, it fits on uh, a little bit more snugly than the other one I would say and again you know that doesn't look out of place at all these bits I'm not sure if they are supposed to be I don't think they're designed for this one uh, but they do peg into the side but um, I've tried this a couple of times and you can kind of get them to hold in if you have it at a certain angle <laughs> but um, they don't really want to stay in if you can get them in and get them on display um, it looks all right but I can't I did get them posed with these on and they held in all right but now I'm doing the review they just cannot get to get them to stay in so that's me with them pushed in and even then they do want to pop out so yeah I think if you're going to use them you're better off using it with the other one which is a shame really because I do like the look of them on this figure they do look nice the other thing to bear in mind as well is these null rays there isn't like a secondary port for them so if he's going to hold them he's going to have to either hold them underneath here like that or he's going to hold it in his hand like that or on the back um, and he obviously does come with a smaller null rays so I'll just give you a, a close-up to see if you can see what the figure looks like so again it is a good look but these bits are just going to fall off so if, if you are going to go with it you can only really go with the this bit on here unfortunately I don't know if it fits on Megatron or anyone else like that kind of but it looks a bit daft be interested to try it on Grimlock so yeah I think if you're gonna have this guy on display you're gonna have to do it I have to use it with this one I think yeah these shoulder bits are definitely designed just for for him because they fit uniquely around that piece there so they've done a really good job in in designing that and working out how to plug that on um, one of these like I said is a bit of a tight connection but I think the price of these was see that one's a bit tight it's about uh, 15 pounds something like that and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely pick up a, another set if, uh, if I could on one of the other ones. I think they do ones for Impact uh, and ones like that. But uh, yeah, well worth getting hold of. Um, if you are, though, getting it, I would get it and put it on for this one. If you've got the Earthrise version, there isn't really a lot of point to it because, uh, like I said, those side bits are just going to fall off. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now.